Well, hey guys, thought I'd do a little update here. I've been working on the, the Scania truck. Um, if you believe it or not, it's three years into the works. Right now, I'm working on doing some motor brake in. So I got an Antigua 55 turn in there and a gear reduction. There's your output shaft spinning. So just, you know, doing some break-in thing, getting it going. That's a less who tire here. This truck's going to have a super single steer in the front. We got these tandem drives. With these uh, RC Brown. <laughs> I don't know uh, how you really say the company's name, but these uh, nice aluminum rims with uh, the anodized blue hub in the middle. Kind of like that. We got some uh, RC four-wheel drive lowriders that are on this. These wheels came on a dolly I bought, but um, I thought it was too nice for a dolly, so I swapped it over to this. Um, dolly's got a lot better frame than this, but oh well. So this, it's kind of a uh, Johnny Cash version of a truck. I bought it one piece at a time. <laughs> it all started in 2017 when my mom met my dad. No, I was kidding. When I got this frame, uh, this frame was on eBay. I think the guy was asking like 50 bucks or 40 bucks. Uh, we're, we're going back three years here now. And it was just the frame, cross members in there, and that was it. So I made, um, well, he had buy it now or make offer. So I made him an offer for the asking price shipped no no shipping and he took it to canada from the united states so i was like yay i'll uh accept that and away it came and yay it showed up it was uh, it was really nice so um shortly after i bought that i bought this the scania body kit so all the pieces and stuff were in there here's the like the instruction manual putting stuff together um I had that, and it's been since 2017. I was originally going to sell this off, but I just figured, uh, the heck with it. I'll put it together, and I'll run it. So I've been working on kind of putting it together here. Um, I'm not trying to get too far ahead. Like, I'm not putting glass in and the, the mirrors and stuff, because I do want to paint this eventually. Uh, I just can't do it right now. It's not very good weather out, and because it's... Um, you know, not spring yet, and or I gotta find a place at home to do it. Uh, I've been taking it with me here to work, slowly working on it the last few days because uh, this whole uh, coronavirus thing going out. Um, I, I'm dead at work. <laughs> it's not very much, that's for sure. I thought it'd be a little bit busier, but it just hasn't been. Uh, let's see if I can get that tire to stand up. Whoop! This tire too. This is a fancy little Lesu thing. RC Lesu. And it has this uh, hitch pin thing in there. So you can put it in the hitch if you have like a multifunction controller. And then your vehicle thinks that it's got a trailer all the time. Even though it's just a, just a thing sitting up here. So being that this is one piece at a time. My front suspension. Well actually these... When these wheels came on that trailer, that blue one I got with the um, fast attack vehicle. They were shoved on some 1.9 rims, which were like de-beaded. And that's how it arrived. So I took that off. I had super single rims off of something. Put that on here. Uh, I had the front axle. I had that stuff. I did have to buy the suspension parts. Um, the springs. I had to buy that. I had the bars. Um, this turnbuckle. And the rod. And the servo holder thing. That came off of eBay last year sometime. I just happened to be on. and Oh, used parts. Cheap. I was trying to use this battery tray. I believe this is out of a high lift of mine that I've had. But if I want to put the toolboxes here on both sides... I gotta find something different because there isn't the holes in here to mount the screws in for those things to sit. 
Um, part of this body kit thing too, it did not come with this floor pan. I had to buy the parts tree P, I believe it is, which also had this, which also had that. So that got me going there. Uh, this part and everything that was in with the, with the body. That wasn't a part problem there. Fenders are part of the body kit. Um, rear axles. Okay, the suspension, the springs, and shocks. That was another kit that I had bought off of eBay. Uh, back in 2017, I believe. It arrived. I bought, accidentally, the R620. Which is steer and one axle. Like, oh darn, that's not going to work. So... I kept that because I'm going to use that for reviving the F-350 build, I believe. I believe that's what I'm going to use it for. So, forward a year later, bought the R620 kit. Got that in. It's two axles. That's good. I'm putting it together. Not a problem. So now, what I'm down to, I need a, a dry shaft from here to there, which I believe was a hundred and fifty odd millimeters. So I think I'm going to borrow the front one out of the um, King Hauler six by six for now, because it's sixty some dollars U.S. for one of those things, and Canadian dollars currently seventy cents on the dollar. So hundred dollars for a dry shaft? Uh, not right now. Not when I'm Johnny Cash in this thing. So, um, part of it too is that there's supposed to be little uh, fins off of this to go underneath and hook onto that. They're not there. So, right now it's two two millimeter screws to undo that. Oh, and uh, this servo uh, has a little notch out of it. I can't really see, but it's where this arm goes in. There's a notch there. That was on the same parts tree as this, and I needed that because of the uh, fenders. I believe that the servo and bell crank thing must have been off of the man or something else that's uh, a Euro style with the servo back there. Uh, this is supposed to have a servo under there, which feeds the three-speed transmission, but I'm not using one. I do have one in the F-350 build, but I just felt like going with a gear reduction instead um axle housings that was plastic parts um the little dog bone dry shaft in the middle there and the cups that was leftover pieces um mostly screws if they did not come with the body kit that's from leftover parts um uh, i haven't put i gotta make sure I'm not dumping stuff over here I haven't put the lights in the back yet because I need to paint these buckets um, silver inside, which left at home. Got to paint the lenses. I need to find that metal bar that goes across here. I have no idea where that is, uh, but I got to do it some sometime here. And then eventually I got to put my uh, fifth wheel on. But I'm debating about saving up some of my YouTube money and buying that uh, fancy deck plate that goes on here for the Scania's. Um, I got the latching part here, um, it's good to go, I guess. The only thing I gotta do in here is I gotta do some painting. I'm not putting an interior in this truck. I'm gonna do the same as my old Mercedes and just black out the inside of the windshield. Maybe find some smoke paint if I have any left and try it with that. But, uh, let me know what you guys think of a color for this truck. I was thinking of the Scania orange, but I'm having a heck of a time trying to find any of this blue. Being it's anodized, I got to get like a chrome to blue. I might be able to find that in automotive paint, but um, who knows for sure. Anyhow, guys, just a little update of uh, my latest RC slash truck build. Uh, let me know what you guys think down below. Also, if you ever get a Lesu tire... Check this out, if it'll focus. Focus. Look at the treads. The left two are shorter than the far three. Yay quality.